Hey there designers, uh, I wanted to bring you a quick tutorial on how to use the import tool in Tinkercad so that you can bring in uh, pre-existing STL files or files of different types into the Tinkercad workspace to work on for different projects. So I'm going to do that with an example here with our partnership with Enabling the Future. Uh, the Enabling the Future group, if you're not familiar with them, they, um, they help makers around the world uh, 3D print prosthetic limbs and then deliver those limbs to people in need all over the world. So that's one of the projects we work on in class and in order to do that, in order to, to make that happen, we need to work with the files that are available through the Enabling the Future group. So here we go, we've got the Phoenix hand here and when we click on the Phoenix hand, it'll take us to different versions of the Phoenix hand that they've created. Um, there's the V2, the Unlimited, and the Reborn. We commonly work with the Phoenix V2 and if I click on that link, it's going to take us to a website called Thingiverse. Now Thingiverse is just a place where people share STL files over the web. Um, it's a community and under Thingiverse, here's the, a picture of what the hand's going to look like eventually when it's assembled and you'll see how it's made of lots of different parts that are going to be put together by uh, our students in design and modeling. And if we look at the Thing files here, we'll click on that, you'll look at the Thing files that are available. And you'll see lots of different pieces that help create the hand that is going to be shipped out to somebody that needs one. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these files. We'll just grab the first one here. We just click Ripper Box Write STL, and we're gonna download that. Now on a Chromebook, I can save it directly to my Google Drive, or I can save it to the downloads. I tend to just throw things in the downloads uh, location if it's gonna be there temporarily. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click Save take a note of what the file is named and let's let's take a look at it make sure it wound up there so here it is gripper box right number one I've already done this once before just making sure we get these recordings down pat but we've got that gripper box right STL downloaded on the computer and now getting it into a Tinkercad uh, file that we're working with is pretty straightforward we just click the import button and in this box, we can either drag and drop a 2D or 3D file here, or we can select um, that particular file. And Tinkercad's going to support different file types. It will support STLs. It'll support OBJs or SVGs. We're working with STL files. So we're going to go ahead and just click choose a file. We're going to go find that file that we have downloaded to our computer right there. Click on that and say open. Um, we can scale it right here, or we can do that later. I'm just going to go ahead and click import and it's working for a second and there is my STL that is ready to be worked with to be scaled to be batched to be put together um, in a way that makes sense for my printing project so just to recap how that goes how that process works find your source files most of the time those are going to be on Thingiverse. Maybe somebody sent you a file. Sometimes it's on Fusion 360. There's lots of different places or ways for people to share STLs. Download that STL to your computer and then use the import feature in Tinkercad to bring in that STL into your work plane so that you can work on it for your projects. All right, so I hope you find that helpful designers and keep on creating.